Hello YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to have a quick look at how to program Fitech servos. Jeez, this guy is here. Specialised in high quality servo. And to be fair, they do make pretty good stuff. Um, this is one of their newer ones. And it is a big, chunky servo. Designed for small humanoids. SM85CL. Common with a does. I think it's uh, about 80 kilogram centimetres. Let's check it, but it's a lot, it's powerful. Haven't actually tried it yet. Um, down to the kind of more standard size. Which is kind of like standard 40 by 20. And these ones as well. And what is particularly interesting with all these these servos is that they run on a serial bus. So rather than send it pulse width modulation, which is the legacy way of controlling servos, you can send it a lot of different commands. You can set it to different speeds, you can set it to different rotations, so it'll be continuous, or it'll have a larger range, I think it has about 300 degrees. You get a little bit of feedback, temperature, and on the more larger ones you also get um, you get current information. So it's it's very useful. Um, and as technically good as their servers are though, their documentation is pants, so it can be a bit of a struggle to get it all working. So what I'm going to do today is take you through how to use their wittily titled FD-V1.8 bracket 170923 close bracket debugger. Um, all right, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to change probably the ID numbers. If you're using a bunch of servos, then you need to change the numbers so you can use them several times, uh, use several at once. All right, so to do that, you will need one of their linker boards, FE-URP-1. Um, there's also a smaller version of this for when you're done with the programming. Um, but this will do. And the servos plug in to either of these sockets. Power goes in, depending on the voltage, on one of these ones. And I'm going to feed it at 6 volts, so I'm going to go to GV1. Um, and for the larger servos, you also connect to these top ones. You've just got the four pins. But for this, we've just got three cables. And there's a bit of software. First, you have to install the driver, uh, which is the CH341 SER. It's an XE. You just run it. And then when you double click on this one, you should be presented with this GUI. So I'm going to go ahead and connect up this servo. You will need power. Um, the simplest way to do that is with a 6 volt adapter. And you can either cut off the jack or you can buy yourself one of these. Remember, don't plug it in until these are screwed in, because if they short out, you're probably going to blow up your adapter. So, DC 6 volt to 9 volt. Don't forget to check which one is your ground. From memory, we should see a light come on. Or not. Ha! Huh. Right, let's also plug that in to the computer. Let's plug the USB cable. Okay, right, now we get a red light. Yes, that's what it is. Right, so, here's one of the strange things. 
When you first plug the board in with the USB, you'll get two red lights. And you'll think this is a good thing, because now surely the service would work. However, when you connect the power, that one's going to go off. Not on, it's going to go off. If I can get it in my hole. Ta-da! So, only one LED for when you're trying to program it. If we now do a search, oh, open. So first you open up here. Com. Oh, no com. Why oh, have I got no com? Let's try again now. I've installed. Yes, there we go. Right, com three. Board rate hundred. Open it. Search. You're just going to see servo one. Okay, servo one. If you unplug your servos, so you've got two lights on and you search again, you're going to see 255. So if you see a high number like 255, sometimes 254, 256, it means your servos are not powered up, believe it or not. <laughs> so one light good, two lights bad. And there we have it, servo one. Right, now if you want to attach multiple servos, stop that, go to program. First you unlock, I mean read your servos. Why did it fail? Oh, ID is zero. Why does it think that? Um... Yes, I don't want to look for ID. I want to look for ID one. Oh, hey, yes. Click on that and read it. There we go, right. So you have to click on the servo you want to read. Um, don't have to unlock it at this point to read it. Locked or unlocked. It will read the data and it will put it all here but if you want to change anything you unlock it in this case we want to change the id it'll appear down here we're going to change it to two we're going to set it we're going to write it we're going to lock it again we're going to search and here we go id is now two 